Opus Pro is a generative AI tool that automatically clips your long talking head videos into short shareable reel. It does a number of wonderful magic tasks. First of all, it goes through the video and finds the most interesting shareable parts. It will then automatically cut these out. Then it will crop these so you have the most interesting part from the video centered in a vertical video format. Then it automatically transcribes and adds captions as well as giving you the opportunity to launch these directly from Opus onto YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how you could use this tool to save time and create short viral clips from your videos. All you have to do is come to opus.pro, sign up, go to my dashboard, and from here, you're gonna copy and paste in a link. Now, it's important to remember that it works best for talking head videos. So if it's an interview, a panel, or an educational video, that's where you're going to get the most out of Opus. Next up, you have to define what part of the video you'd like to create shorts from. So you have these sliders, you can move them along. So if you only wanted to do the end of a video, you can select that part. Or if you only wanted to do some part in the middle, you can also move the sliders to the designated area. After that, you can select your preferred clip length. Auto means it will give you a selection of different lengths depending on the content. And this is what I recommend you use unless you have a specific need for a different length. It's important to note that it might generate some that are longer than 60 seconds. So for some platforms, this might affect where the video gets categorized. For example, in YouTube, shorts have to be a maximum of 60 seconds. You can also add a topic filter keyword. So it will look for topics around a certain theme. Perhaps you might put an AI or masculinity. <gasps> Once you've selected these settings to create your shorts, you can scroll up and go to get clips in one click. Now, the length of time you have to wait depends on a few factors. Firstly, how busy Opus are. So if you are at peak times, it's gonna take a little bit longer and how long the video is. You'll get an estimated waiting time, ours is 12 minutes, and also a progress bar. But you can safely leave this page and they'll send you an email notification when it's done. But thankfully, I put a link in earlier. So if you come to your dashboard, you can click the top right hand corner and the first option is dashboard. From here, you can scroll down and you can see all of the videos that you have already processed. So I will use this video as an example. Now, what we have here is the opportunity to go through all of the videos it has generated for us. And what I particularly like is it will order them based on how viral it thinks they might be, with 99 being a very good score, and all the way down the bottom, 71 being, eh. So what you can then do is go ahead and play these. That's okay, you can give it a heart if you like it or you can sc scroll down and look at a few other options. Now, if you want to make some changes to your short, you have a few options. You can come to edit underneath any of the shorts. If you click on this, you'll be taken to an editing screen. The first thing you can do is automatically filter out any pauses or filler words. So if you say something like, uh, um, uh, 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 and you can see here that I have not got any filler words, thankfully, so I don't have to remove any of those. But if you do, they will show up and you easily can select them and simply press delete. Now the next option is to add an auto intro caption. And if you do this, you can see that it puts the title of the video up first. Now this can be useful if you're looking to add it as the thumbnail of your video. So if you want to have the title in the thumbnail and you're looking to use the first screen as the thumb, but I'm gonna turn that off for now. Of course, you can also edit the text if you want to add a different caption for that, simply by clicking on the text. Now, what's really interesting is that you get an entire transcript that you can edit. So it will show you where it started the video, but if you want to start it earlier, all you have to do is simply click on a new word and set as start. And this will include a whole extra part of the video in the output. Now you can see here that sometimes it selects words for emphasis and colors these, and you can adjust that by simply clicking on the text. You can drag to select multiple parts, and you can change the color. 
by clicking on green or yellow or remove both the text and the audio. So if you remove the text and the audio, it's like cutting it from the video. So you might want to remove different sentences to give you a tighter edit. Now, if you want to change the design, you can come to the design tab at the top here. You can adjust the aspect ratio between portrait, which is best for TikTok reels and shorts, or to square, which can be suitable for Instagram or LinkedIn. Now you have a layout preference, and generally if you select auto, it will try to detect what is on the screen and pick the best layout for that situation. You also have the option to choose fill, which will bring the video into full screen and fill it up, or you have fit, which will basically shrink it down to make sure that everything from the video is fitted into the screen. You also have split, where it will take two parts of the video and put them above each other. So this is particularly good if you have an interview or a podcast and you want to have both participants on screen at the same time. It can also work very well for screen recordings. So if you're showing something on screen and you want to have somebody's little face on top, that is a top option. Three gives you the option for three participants. And finally, four, you've got it, gives you four options. You can also select which of these you like and which ones you don't like. So you can have multiple. There's also a beta for screen share specifically. You can select how many lines you like of the caption, three or one, and the caption position, auto, top, middle, or bottom. There's also a few options for the caption transition. I quite like pop. And of course you can turn off the caption transition if you don't want it to be animated. You have the option to overlay a logo or a CTA. So if you want to maintain your branding and this can help if other people rip off your shorts, download them and upload them to other platforms, you can still maintain some brand awareness. You also get the option to choose a font. There is a nice selection here. I particularly like Comica Axis. Not that anybody else is using that in the world. And you can select the font weight as well as the size and if you want to adjust the italics or underline. You can also select if you want to uppercase all text or not. But of course, some of these fonts are caps only. You can change the font color by simply selecting the color box and the font stroke, as well as adjusting the thickness, which helps it stand out more. So if you do have a font and you're not using a font outline, the font stroke, then it might not show up well on some different backgrounds depending on the color of your font and of the background. You can also add the font shadow and the keywords highlighter. Now this is a great place to implement your brand colors. So if you're working with a brand and you want to use some specific colors, you can pop them in here. There's the option to add auto emojis, which will add little emojis for emphasis every so often. And what you can do is you can save these as brand templates. So at the top middle of the screen, you can select the drop down and go to edit brand template. You can also name this template. So I would name this my YouTube shorts and save it. And now every time you want to use this template, you can simply select it from the drop down at the top. You have the option to create different templates. If you want to have different styles, perhaps for different types of content, or if you're working with a few different channels. Now, you can come back into the text editor, have a quick check through. And now this is where we can get a little bit more advanced if you really wanna take complete control over your short editing. Is that we have a split feature, which allows us to start chopping up the timeline. So if we start off with this video, you can start clicking along the different scenes at the bottom and what you can do is you can select one of the scenes and you can adjust the image and you can adjust the video. So you can stretch it out using the corners of the box. This enlarges it or decreases it. You can also change the layout by clicking on the fit or the other name of the composition here. So this will give you different options. So if you want fill, you will be able to fill the entire screen with your video. Now, the reason these are grayed out is because it believes that the content does not fit in 
to this type of layout. So for example here, I have a background image and I don't have any faces. So it doesn't suggest giving us the other layouts. Now, this is great because sometimes it it might not compose the, once you're happy with the changes that you've made, you can go to save and compile. Now it will put in all of your changes, recompile them into a new short. So you have to wait a little while for that to happen. Usually it takes two or three minutes. You have the option to either download your videos or you can auto post them to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and LinkedIn. To do this, all you have to do is simply connect your accounts to each one of these. And once you're ready, you can go to one click post. For $19 a month, you get 200 minutes of Opus use, which allows you to create up to 200 shorts or even more if they're a little bit shorter. Essentially, it comes out at around 20 cents per clip. If you go for the yearly option, it, you can bring that down to 10 cents per clip giving you 2,400 upload minutes. And it saves you a lot of mine time. Opus Pro is owned by OpenAI, which is the company that is creating ChatGPT and DALI, and is a great example of where AI is being applied to a specific use case to help speed up time and enhance productivity. If you'd like to try out Opus, I have a lovely link in the description below. But most of all, I hope you have a delightful day.